You say some stuff, I'm going to say some stuff. Don't nobody care about no Jesus, Holy Ghost, Father, Son, and the Christos? Listen here, you find one, I'm going to find one back. Uh, but if you can say all of that, just be prepared, okay? Just, I'm just going to let you know that. On GP, okay? On GP. GP, are you with me? Hell yeah, we cause the ass and we going to well. Look. Hell yeah, we cause the ass and we going to well. Look. I like coming here because the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told, you're just ugly. No one likes to be told that. You know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just wanted to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. Y'all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. I'm doing something that I hardly ever do. And um, I'm doing it as a must. I didn't even really think about it before I did it. I'm acting on an impulse because of salvation and righteousness in my heart and soul, contrary to belief of so many, which we really can't, as Christians and as mature believers, we can't really take time and take a poll on who believes that or not. Um, watching nature, I'm just standing out in my front yard, right? And I was, I don't know, just led by nature to come out here. I've gone through quite a bit. Hey, y'all, I love everyone. Italy even, right? Okay, love you guys. I look a mess because I've been flying today. And um, I'm, a, I'm a very truthful and honest and forward person. And people who, um, and when I say the word that I allow into my circle, when I say the word allow is because of the way my life has been set up. You cannot, when you have created a life of a level of value, in any way, I didn't say career, I didn't say status, value, you, whoever you are, whether you establish a career out of your value, whether you build monuments out of your value, whatever it is, you cannot afford to let everybody in your space to get to know you. So those that are allowed in my personal space, they know me best. They know me best. So a lot of them understand me most. Um, I love you too, to all of you, I love you too. Um, I jumped on really quickly um, to say thank you to all of you who have followed me and who support me and pray for me and love me. But I jumped on especially today because I, 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 don't, I don't like mess. I hate it, I hate it. You know, the, follow, the Bible says, follow peace with all men, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And I just want to say, if we went, if, if, we, if we governed our lives off of people's emotions and off of their words based on what we do and say, we would all govern ourselves according to how people feel about us. What's up, good people? Let me just interject Kim Burrell's very, I mean, let me interrupt. That's what I'm trying to say. Interrupt Kim Burrell's La Oya of a video real quick. First of all, Kim Burrell said something to uh, a gentleman that I know, and he said, oh, be careful of him. He's messy. Kim, who's more messier than you? Y'all be sitting back cracking jokes on people, talking mess about people, saying all type of nasty foolishness about people and kiddos, and then you want to talk about somebody being messy? Seriously? Okay, listen, let me just bring it back in. First of all, it never ceases to amaze me. Hold on, y'all. It never ceases to amaze me that these people like Kim Burrell say some jacked up stuff across the pulpit, in the restaurants, in the room, all kind of stuff like that. Then they want to deep get deep and personify all of this stuff and get spiritual. And I just want to tell you, you know, we, we learn how to mind our own business and, and we learn to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Oh, girl, shut up. Shut up. God, I always want to be deep and spiritual. Girl, go comb your hair. That's what you do. Go comb your hair. I was going to talk about, oh, the people just being messy and, oh, we trying to start drama. No, baby, we ain't start no drama. You sat there and you said what you said and we just respond to it. And that's just how we, period. Ain't nobody in their feelings. But you want, uh, it, it, listen, I don't care what you're talking about, gay folks, fat folks, ugly folks, brown folks, green folks, white folks. First of all, you say something and you offend somebody, you're going to offend somebody. First of all, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't going to offend. you never going to offend me, baby, because I'm fine as white as a mump around this piece. So catch that. I thought a fat bitch said something. Oh, okay. Now back to the regular schedule program. Mm.
you know what they say. And I went through some public stuff, I guess, because during the time that mostly people affiliated with the church gave me their backlash and then started including people of the world and their opinion about a message that I preached some years ago um, about how they felt about what I said. Um, it just got nasty. And most of it came from a lot of seemingly what I was told a lot of church people. I didn't really dive into that because during that time, my family took all of my um, phones and devices away from me. And so um, don't y'all get defensive talking about people talking about how I look, you know. I'm always trying to protect other people instead of myself first. But today, I'm kind of getting on to protect myself. Um, and here, here it is. It's not even protection. Here it is as a defense. I started, I did something for the first time that I never, ever do. And I started responding to people. Oh, my God. I got some very close friends and loved ones who's going to say, no, you didn't, because that's not what I do. But I started responding to people on Instagram because the human side of me, just got tired. I kind of got fed up. God, that's a big bird. Where I live is like a bunch of nature. I know it's like far to the street in my front yard. <laughs> but it's a lot of birds. Maybe I should walk over by the lake. I don't know. But I just, um, I kind of got fed up with words. And sometimes I see some of my other pastor friends respond. And sometimes I'm like, man, you know what? I should do that sometimes and just kind of let people know where I stand when they get a little too disrespectful because I want to be on social media at times and just be free and read what people say and and enjoy life and think that I can get on social media like everyone else. Yes, the called and the elected and God's chosen. We can't do what everybody else Some of my friends who know that me and uh, Travis Malloy are working together right now. We're very close. Somebody text him and call him, let him know I'm on live. He's going to trip because he knows I don't do this, especially on Instagram. But I want to address this. There's a brand new video that Marcus Jokes or someone posted. I don't know him. I'm saying Mar Marcus Jokes or someone because I'm not familiar with that person. So it's how do y'all call it shade or whatever i don't know him like that i just remember that name when i read it as the person who posted it all respect to you who, sir mr jones he posted a video of me last night at dr karn's church pastor karn and i he's a human being and we share a friendship and i'm not ashamed to say that Regardless of who decides to feel how they want to feel about him, it doesn't make me make a choice based on how other people feel. Y'all do that, whatever. It's on y'all. If I were to probably go through whomever's list of people that they like and agree with, I probably would find something to disagree with who they like. And at the end of the day, we're not the judge at the end of the day. Let God do all of that and, and let God do the separating. But I want to say to those of you who decide to make a decision about my spiritual life and who I am as a person and then want to take a jab at how I look. I love me. I love me. I love me. I love me because God loves me. And I love you because God loves you. I'm talking to the you that likes to judge and say mean things and all that stuff. Y'all got to grow out of that. You'll grow out of that. And hopefully one day when those who are negative and call themselves trying to indirectly or directly counsel me about how how to handle my platform and how to, I can't help what people post and how much of it they post. When y'all see stuff that's posted, it's always a portion of what it is. And no matter what it is, y'all going to take it and put it into a context. Last night, Pastor Brian Meadows, oh my God. <laughs> Listen, y'all, Pastor Brian Meadows, if y'all going to tag somebody, tag them while I'm talking about this. Pastor Brian Meadows starts talking. And then what the honking out there? Be still in those saints. We're on the air. <laughs> Pastor Brian Meadows out of Atlanta spoke a word about levels and realms and dimensions of understanding of giftings and knowledge and anointings. And there are levels to life, levels to understanding, level to mature, to maturity. And when we respond to people's whatever, you're exposing the level of understanding that you're on. And that's most of the time of why I don't respond to what most people say. Because based on what they say, that's the level they're on. And if we're not agreeing or we're on the same frequency, 
and we're not on the same level of thinking, the same rank of thinking or understanding of thinking, there's no sense in me trying to try to make myself understand the way they understand. And there's no sense in me trying to believe that they're going to understand the way that I understand. It doesn't make me better than them. And it doesn't make them better than me. And if it does, so what? Let's all grow in grace. Who cares? I'm maturing to that place in God and in life. By the way, my birthday's coming up. August. What? What? I'll be 50. But I want everybody to just kind of chill out because I'm, 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 I'm human and I can only go but so far. And I'm saying chill out to my friends, especially because they, they, like, don't fight for you. Tell me who made you mad. You know, when people love you, they want to defend you. But I'm growing. I am growing. I am maturing. And some people say, based on your video, you ain't. Anyway, it was a moment last night at um, Dr. Karn's church. I got up and I was addressing the people. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm going right back tomorrow. I came home to uh, D.C., to Maryland, rather. I live in Maryland and in Houston. Most people don't know that. And um, thank God. I live in Maryland. Oh, God, Tim's going to kill me because we're going to do a, an official announcement. But some people have been talking about it um, already and they kind of know. But, um, hey, Brazil, I love you. You know, we got to come back. Uh, how I said, um, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Bishop S.Y. Young. I love you, my friend. Love you with all my heart. Um, thank you for bringing me to Brazil. That's my point. Um, but um, I'm in I'm in Maryland and I'm under one of God's generals, uh, Dr. Mike Freeman, who is who is stretching my faith, stretching my understanding, stretching my maturity. And ordinarily, I would make a video, but I represent more than me. He's a soldier, man. He ain't, he ain't no defending for his sake. I'm I'm I carry an anointing that represents a lot and, and, and covers a lot and secures a lot of things and people and stages. I'm spiritual mother to a lot of incredible people. Just last night, for those of you who were not there, you know, church people, we, we something else, man. Y'all need to chill because last night, one of my spiritual sons, Tyrese Gibson, the great actor, was with me last night. As a mature mother in, in, in God, why would I risk his spiritual life? Why would I risk that precious moment of him being in service with me, with us being carnal, if that wasn't a moment that all of us who were all with one accord in the moment did not get? We all got it. And and somebody addressed themselves as a doctor something, Tony something, because he made it public. I don't even know him. And I don't remember it was a Tony thing. I addressed him in texting back or responding back, typing back on Instagram because he got, he's advising people based on the video. Do not be like this, sir. There are seats that have been created, and I hope you will find as many that will fit your body and your mind and sit in it because it does not make sense for you to advise people to not be like a thing and I get it maybe your motive was pure and trying to help people to not be what you disliked but you were to me and discouraging people to do something that other people long to do when it comes to me I've done enough in ministry and in life and indeed that there are millions of people who who wish to be like the heart that they know about me. And last night's moment about me making a, a comment about hats. <laughs> it still cracks me up because Dr. Carter and I know about the hats and we were at a convention and it was multitudes of hats. And um and using the word, oh my God, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's a wild turkey at the back part of my yard. Can y'all see that? Look at him dipping his head. It's too early for Thanksgiving, and he's a wild turkey. He said, we ain't going to be at peace. Nah. You cluck right on. <laughs> oh, God, help me. So anyway, um, I'm just living my life. I'm having fun, and and I, I'm, I'm at peace, and I'm going to enjoy life. All of y'all who want to try to throw darts and still be childish and immature and be hung up on the energy of Kim Burrell four and five years ago, like y'all got some kind of assignment to release a certain amount of venom out of you man be free be free stop that quit taking jabs and people people are saying what um what happened nothing really happened you know the same stuff a video was played somebody saw what i said and took it out of context i'm standing up at 
um, uh, uh, Prophet Brian Karn's convocation last night. And um, when I got up to sing, I was saying, what did I say? Um, I got up and was saying, And I say, y'all got so many hands in here. No, if it, in other words, if it's some ugly in here, and it, it was a wide open joke, who's gonna get up in the pulpit and call somebody ugly? Y'all got to grow up and quit being so immature. I'm too intelligent for that to even insinuate that. But I'm doing that for those who don't have any better sense than to spread venom. And thank God for those who are mature and intelligent enough to know better um, than to do that. But man. Y'all just be okay. I just kind of want to make a video before it even gets... Venezuela! I love you too. Thank you so much for the love. But until all of that, um, you know, I love you guys, man. Keep on going. Don't, for go, don't forget to go get my single, Working For Your Good by Kim Burrell. The video is out. And uh, I started looking at some new ideas and new clothes today. And I saw some stuff. And um, y'all get all this um, craziness out your system. Because my birthday month... It's coming out. How do they say? Uh, <laughs> what's that little thing that goes out? My birthday tomorrow. <laughs> my birthday tomorrow. They so stupid. Oh, God, I love that thing. Now, wait a minute. Let me keep my eye on that turkey. I don't want that joker getting up on me. Turn my okay, dog. How you doing? I think he's trying to get in that, guys. My groundskeeper has, like, has a garden. And the turkey won't come. He's so mad at these green pastures see this is how this is how the lord is blessing <laughs> that's my driveway i mean there's a long driveway we gotta take the trash out anyway god is blessing i love you guys y'all keep y'all's heads all the way up i'm smiling because i'm in my dark room y'all know what time it is i'm in my dark room okay my little niece i'm covering the mic sorry boopy sorry okay i hope you guys heard it all okay i love you guys Okay, I, babe, Tore, I'm telling you, I don't care about no fame, I don't care about none of that. I am learning so much under the teachings of Dr. Mike and Dee Dee Freeman. Transitioning my heart. When you can be in the presence of millionaires who want the more of God, they, I ain't never seen people who look for ways to do more for God. Oh, Jesus. It's always, 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 I'm trying to fight back tears. That's always been my heart to look for ways to bless people and to be led by people who anything on the earth they can afford, but they, they don't care about that. It's like, what can, what more can I do for God? Man, that thing fuels me like crazy. That's why I run into people like Brian Meadows and being in the presence of God and growing. So y'all look, I'm on I'm on a different tip. I'm loving life. Life is loving me. I'm out here sweating. I'm crying, thinking about the goodness of God. Woo, hallelujah. Was that my baby, Rasan? 
Rasan. Oh, Jesus, Rasan Patterson with your cold blood behind. Y'all, Rasan Patterson is my baby, man. I love you so much, baby. Rasan is so cold. I sat up watching you. They had this. Man, they got this incredible guy. He's a vocal coach. He was analyzing Rasan's vocals. Rasan, I just look at you, baby. You are music personified. You know how I feel about you. Not just your voice, but you the person. I love you. I love you, baby. Lord have mercy, you're singing somebody. Lord, we y'all, we gotta build us a concert. Rasan and it's a whole long list of folks. <laughs> Glory to God. I love you guys. I'm praying for everybody. Y'all continue to pray for me. You don't like what I say or do? Keep me lifted. Hey, man. It's life. It's life. You know what? I remember when I sat down with Jay-Z. Jay-Z and I sat down a couple of years ago. Maybe like three years ago. And we were just sitting down talking. We sat down and we talked like four hours. That's all we really came to do. Y'all heard that record, 444. And I didn't go in there to sing. Some people made a mess of Kim Burrell, she was barely on the record. Stupid. I didn't go there to sing on the record. I went there to sit and talk with Jay because Jay was making the most vulnerable record of his life. Was his words to me say, Kim, when my wife, be Beyonce, she was in silence one day for like 11 hours. And But when she came out, all I heard, he said, all I heard for 11 hours was your voice. My wife was spending time with your voice. When she came out, she was better. That's why the church and the church sent back attacking me instead of praying for me. And the world is meeting me in private to say thank you. Man, y'all grow up, get sensitive. And then y'all posting stupid stuff, making the whole world know. We the church want the public to know we are not standing with you because we don't like what you said. Instead of discerning and praying and showing honor to, to each other, as I'm learning, we must do. That's why God has to send a Dr. Mike Freeman into a life like mine so I can be prepared on how to continue this wonderful great life I'm living within within with the heart and with the mind so that God can continue to use me and me and Rasan can stand up on stage and wear this world out <laughs> you know and um I'll never forget uh what well, I was telling y'all a story somebody typed it in the comments I was telling y'all something. I was saying something good, y'all. Okay, but anyway, it's just, oh, man, Jay-Z, man, Jay-Z. Okay. Um, so, oh, oh, y'all, okay. I wasn't trying to see the part of the house. So, anyway, um, so, I love you, Nigeria. I love you, Detroit, too. I love you guys. Thanks so much. And so, sitting up there, and um, when he told me that, he says, I brought you out here because I wanted to sit with the person that made my wife better. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I said, what? And I flew out there and I sat with him. I was honored. I was blessed to be able to just hear him share. He has one of the deepest, greatest, warmest, beautiful hearts I've ever seen in my life. And I thank Father God for giving me opportunities to share and to sit. He encouraged me during that dark moment that a lot of church people in some of the world tried to make real ugly for me. While they were doing that, I was sitting with the one and only man, Jay-Z. And he was looking at me saying, yeah, I know what's going on. I said, out of protection to you. I said, I know I ain't bigger than you in status. I said, but I don't want nobody to know we're together if it's going to shine any darkness on you. He said, hey, 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 ma. Tomorrow they're going to be talking about something else. Oh, he blessed me. He lifted that weight. And I ain't going to lie, I wished that I could have been sitting with somebody from the church telling me that. But that's not how God orchestrated it. I didn't get mad. Not that day. I had been mad a few days before that. But God God lifted me. And man, he gave me strong daddy and mama to sit with. Mike and Dee Dee Freeman. And my baby Tim, too. And a lot of other friends, my friend Fred, a lot of people. We'll get into it one day. I'm going to talk about that experience one day. God is amazing. I love you guys. Y'all keep reaching for the stars. Y'all know all y'all that call me mama, you know your mama love you. I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay? I love y'all. God is good. God's got us, y'all. Let's keep looking up. And, don't, and all y'all, don't get mad at church people. I'm not dogging us. We're growing. We're growing. We got, we got Brian Meadows on the scene. We got a Dr. Mike and Dee Freeman. You got Bishop Jake. You got all of this help. Dr. Mike Stevens. Uh, 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 Matthew Stevenson it's a lot of help let's quit passing judgment whatever y'all think is ugly eat the meat and spit out the bones y'all let's grow out of the pain grow out of the pain grow out of the pain Woo! my baby finna put a record out Tyrese called Beautiful Pain 
That's growth. Y'all, I've been sitting with my, my spiritual son, Tyrese, for two days. My baby called me a couple of days ago. He said, Mama, I'm hurting. I'm trying not to cry. Lord, I'm so soft. I'm getting about to turn 50 years old. He said, Mama, I'm hurting. And I said, what's wrong, baby? He went on to tell me. I said, I'm coming. He says, come now. So I ran him coming. At first, I, I got to go to Charlotte. He said, we'll go to Charlotte. And y'all, listen to this. Here's the love. He said, okay, you got to go to Charlotte. Come on. He said, come on. He said, come on. I will go. He, not only did he make sure I got to Charlotte, he took me in his private sprinter with bed and all of this luxury. He said, Mama, I need you. And he said, not only am I going to get you there, I'm going to go with you. He rode with me to church. He was sitting in that same room that y'all think I was going to stand up there and create offense in. Y'all don't know church. Y'all don't know church jargon. Y'all don't know. There are rooms that I'm invited to that understand what it is I say and do. So until you know that room or until you know me, stay in the room you're in and keep you in that room and don't try to judge the room you're unfamiliar with and then try to give counsel on it it's not your level i love you guys see y'all soon sit your punk ass down so i'm so tired of y'all this i did let me tell y'all let me say this and i'm getting up out of here let me say this right here see this is the reason why they created the bibles okay this is the reason why they created the Bibles. See, because there was too many loose lips walking around here talking about what does said the Lord. So they had to create a book that said this is the infallible written word of God. So then they created a book that said that it was the infallible written word of God because they said we want to be able to say God said this because we can't depend upon these people out here to sit out here and have the word from God because they be lying too much and there's too many false prophets carrying on. But that's okay. That's okay. Y'all just sit up out here reading the word of God. Now, y'all sit out here lying on the book. So it's hard for us to even believe what the book said because y'all lying on the book. Huh? Y'all lying on the book. So who can I run to? Okay, who who can I run to? I'm serious, who can I run to? Hold on, somebody said something. They don't care about the people they already hear. Uh, period, baby, period. That's right, period. Anyways, God bless your heart and all your parts. I'm about this piece. Until next time. Bye.